My name's Ken, and I'll be showing you a built-in to Windows tool that can help Windows move along a little more smoothly. You can find it by opening your Start menu and typing in the search box MSCONFIG. Windows XP users can click Start and hit Run and then type it in. Hitting Enter or clicking it will bring up this dialog box. It has five tabs, and the first tab has three options. We'll come back to these options later. For now, click the Services tab and make sure you check Hide All Microsoft Services. This will bring up a list of just the third-party services that are running on your system, disabled or enabled. Now you want to make sure you only have in here what's necessary. For example, I don't use VNC anymore, and I don't use Adobe. I do need the Logitech service and the NVIDIA services because of the other peripherals and hardware that I use, so I'll keep them enabled for now. Next, go to the Startup tab. You may or may not have less or more items in here. However, you want to make sure you only have enabled what you absolutely need. For example, I need my audio manager for sound, and I need Logitech Setpoint for certain features of my keyboard and mouse. I'm not sure about PowerRig, though, so I can check under the manufacturer to see who it's made by. I see Logitech, but it could be another company posing as Logitech, as you see the manufacturer is slightly different. If I check under Command, I can see where the program is being executed and with what extra commands. Though it may not look legitimate, I can cross-reference with Google, including the location, which is mostly just registry, but it could have something that better hints towards whether it's legitimate or not. Another great place to cross-reference these kinds of things is TomsHardware.com. It's a forum in which there's a big community of people who constantly ask questions about startup items, services, what's legitimate, what's not, what's necessary, what's unnecessary. For example, Windows Live Messenger. I almost never use it, so why have it take system resources and startup when I could enable Skype, which I use all the time? I definitely don't mind that running. As you can see, I'm a very simple user. You shouldn't have more than a few icons by your clock, and you shouldn't have more than a few hidden. Going back, after you reviewed everything very thoroughly, cross-referenced with Google or your favorite legitimate antivirus site, anywhere that you'd like to go. You can go to apply it, and then re-review your settings, make sure they stuck, or you can go right to OK, which will bring up your confirmation dialog box. If you don't want to see this dialog box again, hit don't show this message again and then you can either restart right away or if you've got other work to do or want to do something else before you restart you can exit without restarting just to double check sometimes it's good to go back into msconfig and review your settings again selective startup should be enabled normal startup will enable absolutely everything that you've got in your services and your startup in some cases, if you think that certain necessary Microsoft services are enabled and you can't find it, you can always hit Normal and then go under Services and Startup and disable everything again, just the third-party things. Then you can apply or hit OK and restart again, and then you'll only have what's necessary for the computer to run. If you even want to triple check, you can go right back in again, or you can go to the Startup folder within the Start menu if you've disabled everything and there's nothing there, you're good to go. There could be still things in there after disabling things in msconfig. Regardless, now you can restart. When your computer restarts, you should notice an improved boot time. Granted, it may not be much. You should also notice slight performance boosts in your minute-to-minute -minute computing. The great thing about msconfig is that it gives you access to certain things that you absolutely would not find through program settings or through any other kind of settings you may find. Just make sure you're careful to not disable anything that you're not sure whether your computer needs it to run or to operate certain features such as media buttons on a keyboard or media buttons on a mouse. Hopefully that helped you out, and if you have any other questions or comments, feel free to leave a comment or send me a message. I'd be happy to help you with anything I can.